Tycho Brahe was a man of science, a figure who stood at the crossroads of the Renaissance. He was an astronomer who meticulously mapped the stars, charting the heavens with unparalleled precision. But Tycho was also an alchemist, delving into the mystical and transformative arts of his time. He believed he could unlock the secrets of matter, transforming base elements into something extraordinary. This duality makes him a fascinating figure in the history of science, bridging the gap between empirical observation and mystical exploration. Tycho's work as an astronomer is well known, celebrated for its accuracy and depth. He made precise observations of the planets and stars, contributing invaluable data to the field of astronomy. His data helped to overturn the ancient belief that the Earth was the center of the universe, paving the way for future discoveries. But Tycho's work in alchemy is less familiar, often overshadowed by his astronomical achievements. Alchemy was a blend of science and mysticism, a quest to understand and manipulate the natural world. Alchemists sought to transform base metals into gold, a process symbolizing spiritual purification and perfection. They also searched for the elixir of life, a potion that could grant immortality, reflecting humanity's eternal quest for longevity. Tycho's fascination with both astronomy and alchemy might seem contradictory, yet it was a common pursuit among Renaissance thinkers. But he saw them as interconnected, believing that the study of the stars could reveal the mysteries of the material world. He believed that the heavens influenced the earth, that celestial bodies held sway over terrestrial matters. By understanding the stars, he hoped to unlock the secrets of matter, merging the cosmic with the earthly in his quest for knowledge. Born in Denmark in 1546, Tycho Brahe lived in a time of great scientific change. The old ideas about the universe were being challenged, new discoveries were being made. Tycho's work helped to usher in a new era of astronomy. He built the most advanced observatory of his time. His instruments allowed him to make the most accurate measurements of the stars and planets ever recorded. Tycho's observations of a supernova in 1572 challenged the prevailing view of the cosmos. He showed that the heavens were not unchanging. This discovery shook the foundations of Aristotelian cosmology. Tycho's work in alchemy, though less celebrated, was equally groundbreaking. He conducted thousands of experiments in his laboratory. He meticulously recorded his findings. In Tycho's time, astronomy and alchemy were seen as separate disciplines. Astronomy was the study of the heavens, alchemy was the study of matter, but Tycho saw a connection. He believed that the stars and planets influenced the elements on Earth. He thought that by understanding the movements of the heavens, he could unlock the secrets of matter. This belief led Tycho to conduct his alchemical experiments with great precision. He carefully controlled the conditions of his experiments. He used the most accurate scales and instruments available. Tycho's meticulous approach to alchemy was unusual for his time. Most alchemists were shrouded in secrecy. They guarded their methods and results closely, but Tycho believed in sharing his knowledge. He published several books on alchemy. Tycho's alchemy lab was a marvel of its time. Located in the basement of his observatory, it was filled with furnaces, alembics, and other alchemical apparatus. Here, Tycho experimented with a wide range of substances. He studied metals, minerals, and plants. He even experimented with urine and feces. One of Tycho's primary goals was to create medicines. He believed that alchemy could be used to cure diseases. He experimented with different substances to create new drugs. Tycho also searched for the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary substance that could transform base metals into gold. Though he never found it, his experiments with metals led to important discoveries. Section 5. Gold, Vitriol and the Elixir of Life Tycho's alchemical work focused on several key elements and compounds, each holding a unique significance in his quest for knowledge. Gold, with its perceived perfection and incorruptibility, held a central role in his experiments, symbolizing purity and eternal value. He believed that understanding gold was key to understanding the nature of matter itself, and its properties could unlock the secrets of the universe. Vitriol, a term used for sulfates, 
was another substance of great interest to Tycho, known for its transformative properties. He used it extensively in his experiments, believing it held the potential to change base metals into noble ones. He believed it held the key to transmutation, the ultimate goal of turning ordinary substances into something extraordinary. Like many alchemists of his time, Tycho also sought the elusive elixir of life, a potion that promised immortality and eternal youth. He experimented with various herbs and minerals, combining them in countless ways to discover their hidden properties. He believed that the right combination could not only prolong life, but also cure diseases that plagued humanity. Though he never achieved his alchemical goals, Tycho's work was groundbreaking and paved the way for future scientific endeavors. His meticulous methods and detailed records laid the foundation for modern chemistry, influencing generations of scientists to come. Section 6, Tycho's Antimony, a modern connection. One of Tycho's most significant contributions to chemistry was his work with antimony. Antimony is a metalloid element. It has properties of both metals and non-metals. Tycho studied antimony extensively. He developed new methods for purifying it. He also investigated its medicinal properties. Today, antimony is used in a variety of applications. It is used in flame retardants, batteries and alloys. It is also used in some medications. Tycho's work with antimony demonstrates the connection between alchemy and modern chemistry. Though his goals were different from those of modern chemists, his methods and discoveries paved the way for future advancements. Section 7. The Universe in a Crucible. Tycho Brahe's dual passions for astronomy and alchemy might seem contradictory, but for him, they were two sides of the same coin. He saw the universe as a giant laboratory. He believed that the same laws governed the heavens and the earth. By studying both, he hoped to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Tycho's legacy is a reminder that science is a journey of discovery. It is about pushing the boundaries of knowledge. It is about challenging accepted truths. Though his alchemical pursuits may seem misguided today, they were driven by a thirst for knowledge. His meticulous methods and detailed records laid the foundation for modern science. Section 8. Beyond the Stars. Tycho Brahe's story is a testament to the power of human curiosity. He dared to challenge the established order. He sought to unravel the mysteries of the universe, both in the vastness of space and the intricacies of matter. His legacy extends beyond his astronomical observations and alchemical experiments. He embodies the spirit of scientific inquiry. He reminds us that every discovery is a step towards understanding our place in the cosmos. Tycho's work laid the foundation for future generations of scientists. His precise astronomical observations paved the way for Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion. His alchemical experiments, though ultimately unsuccessful in their original goals, contributed to the development of modern chemistry. Section 9. Tycho's Enduring Legacy Tycho Brahe's life and work continue to inspire us today. His meticulous observations and innovative methods laid the groundwork for modern astronomy. He reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is a noble endeavor, one that requires dedication and perseverance. He shows us that even in the face of failure, we can make significant contributions to science. Tycho faced many challenges, yet he never gave up on his quest for understanding. His story is a reminder that science is not a solitary pursuit. It thrives on collaboration and the sharing of ideas. It is a collaborative effort that spans generations, with each scientist building upon the discoveries of those who came before. Tycho's work built upon the work of those who came before him, and his meticulous records became invaluable to future astronomers. His discoveries, in turn, inspired those who followed, including the great Johannes Kepler. As we continue to explore the universe and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, we owe a debt of gratitude to Tycho Brahe. His pioneering spirit and relentless curiosity set a standard for all who seek to understand the stars. His legacy lives on in every new discovery, every scientific breakthrough, and every curious mind that dares to ask, why? Tycho Brahe's enduring influence is a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Section 10. Explore the cosmos. Take a moment to look up at the night sky. Imagine the universe as Tycho Brahe saw it, a place of wonder, mystery, and endless possibilities. 
Learn more about Tycho Brahe and his contributions to science. Explore the history of alchemy and its evolution into modern chemistry. Discover the connections between the stars above and the elements that make up our world. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Let Tycho Brahe's story inspire you to explore the cosmos and unravel its secrets.